I'll go one by one. Here, yeah, this is the palatine bone. Okay, these are two palatine bones joining in the middle to form the part of hard palate. This is L shaped bone. Okay, this is L shaped bone. This is the occipital bone forming the posterior part of the skull. This is the parietal bone forming the lateral half of the cranium. The other parietal bone, temporal bone forming the middle cranial fossa and the lateral part of the skull. Again, the same. Oh, this is the lacrimal bone. This is the Voma bone just above the palatine bone and it's forming the part of nasal septum, the lower part of the nasal septum. This is the middle concave, middle concave in the nasal cavity. This is the frontal bone forming the anterior part of the skull and a part of the cranium another lacrimal bone joining to the frontal bone this is the thymoid bone forming the root of the nose uh, no, not root of the nose portion which is deep to the root of the nose it is joining to the frontal bone and forming the part of the anterior cranial fossa and uh, also the its part that is perpendicular plate its part that is perpendicular plate is joining to the vomer bone to form the nasal septum it's also forming a part of a uh, part of orbit so this is the ethmoid bone now this is the nasal bone these are the two nasal bones Sphenoid bone, sphenoid bone, which you can see here. This bone forms the part of orbit, the lateral side of the skull. Uh, the part of orbit is formed by major part of the orbit is formed by the greater wing of the sphenoid, and some part is formed by the lesser wing of sphenoid. And the lateral side of skull is formed by greater wing of sphenoid. At the skull base, we have got two pterygoid plates, each having two plates. So this is the sphenoid bone. Now going further, the jagometic bone, it gets attached to the sphenoid bone and temporal bone, as you can see here. Next, another jagometic bone attaches to the sphenoid bone here at the sphenojagomatic suture and the frontal bone at frontojagomatic suture here at frontojagomatic suture and the temporal bone here at temporojagomatic suture okay next comes the maxilla the maxilla articulates with frontal bone over here the jagomatic bone over here and it also also articulates with the palatine bone and the maxilla And then these are the bones of the skull. What's remaining over here is the mandible. Here it is. So complete skull is ready for you. 
man.